Allah gives us universal lessons in the course of just telling the story. Everything in the Quran is of timeless value. You know, there's lots of things that happen in a story, especially in a historical account. But Allah is very selective in telling a story and He only tells us bits that are the most relevant for our guidance. So one thing that really struck out to me is when Musa alayhi salam, Moses had fled and he was in Madian and he helped these two girls get water up for their animals. And then they left and their father asked, how did you get water so early? And he sent one of them back. And Allah actually, of all these details, like you would imagine Allah would highlight details about like Judgment Day or the battle between the Pharaoh and Moses or when he was able to come back and challenge or how he escaped, like big details. But in the middle of all of that, in the final revelation of Allah, Allah takes the time out to mention this little, what seems like a minor detail. One of them came, came all the way, walking. Now there's two ways to translate this. She came walking shyly, like in a shy way. And she came walking over to him despite being shy. And I was fascinated that Allah would actually go out of his way to highlight the way a woman walked. Like what benefit could that have? I realized that Allah Azza wa Jal, He highlights things in his book that are so pertinent to human guidance. The way a female walks is a powerful thing. It has an impact in society. As a matter of fact, the female has a presence that has been talked about across cultures. Just her presence has a power, has an awe. It inspires something. At the very least, it catches the attention of the male. But there's more to it than that. There is actually a psychological, even a spiritual effect when there's the presence of a woman and when she's walking by. This is something societies were so aware of that in many cultures, the elite women of a society were actually kept hidden away. Like in Korean society, old Korean society, for example, they wouldn't go out until the nighttime, the elite women. It has nothing to do with Islam. It's just they were aware of the power of the presence of women. And so Allah Azza wa describes, and He's highlighting to women and to men, the effect, the role of a woman in public can have. And yet at the same time, Islam is not saying, keep women indoors, because they have too much of an effect. They have too much of an impact. Guys know the ones that are watching this video, they're sitting in an auditorium classroom and a girl walks into the class, right? She doesn't have to be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. But so long as she's a female, <laughs> everybody in the room is gonna at least for a second look and then, okay, yeah, it has an effect. And a guy walks in, meh, you know, that's what happens. So now Allah is highlighting a couple of things. One of the most beautiful things that's being highlighted here is despite her shyness. In other words, she has to engage in society. She has to go out. And yes, there will be people that stare. And sometimes if you have a vulgar society, people comment and whistle and make passes at them or worse. You know, there are societies where even harassing women on the street has become common. Sometimes verbally and sometimes even physically, it's become common. But yet she has to engage in that society. So she has to find a way of engaging in it. She can protect herself and yet at the same time be a participant in society. The second thing that's really beautiful here is she walked shyly. In other words, she walked guarding her modesty. She realized that she has a presence and she realized that this is something that has an impact on others. It's not just about her, it's actually about recognizing the presence that she carries. And so she walked in a way that is shy. She walked in a way that is not showing off or is not provocative as to get the attention. And she's walking over to a young man, as a matter of fact, in this case, Alastihya. A female must recognize the power that she has. And so even the way in which a woman walks is highlighted in such a subtle, beautiful way. And it's not like this girl was shy. It's not. She walked over by herself to the strange man and said, Inna abiya duruka, lana. My dad's calling you, okay? He wants to pay you for the services you provided. And if she was all that shy and scared, she would have called her sister and at least two of them would have come. But she came by herself. And her dad was confident enough in her to send her by herself. So there's this amazing balance between confidence and engagement, even when you're on your own, and at the same time holding on to your modesty. All of it captured in just the way that she walked. It's incredible.